Good evening, I'm Annie Chang. Rick has the night off tonight. Some roads in Elkhart County are in bad shape, but the Highway Department and County Commissioners are trying to be proactive in addressing the problem. After the harsh winter last year, steps are being taken to make sure paving the roads can start as soon as possible. WSPT 22's James Fillmore is at the live desk, and James, there's only so much they can do. Well, the temperatures have to be above 50 degrees for a period of time before they can even start paving, Annie. Plus, a limited budget is another hurdle, but county leaders already have the ball rolling. Each year, Elkhart County has about $3 million to pay for road resurfacing and repairs. If we would try to bring all of our roads up to the standards that we'd like, we would need about $18 million. And so we have $3 million each year. So every year we're falling a little bit behind. Last winter didn't help. Plus, the time available to pave during the summer was cut short. So this time around, they're trying to be more efficient. The cold weather hit us early. So our first paving program we started this year a couple months late, and then our second phase was even later. So we have parts of our 2014 paving program that we were not able to finish. The plan is to get bids out earlier than usual. The way it works in Elkhart County is the bids are divided up, so more than one contractor could be involved. Yoder says it takes time to analyze the bids and make a decision, but getting a head start means they'll be ready to pave just in case Mother Nature takes it easy on us this year. Greg Tipton lives in Elkhart County, and he thinks what's being done is a great idea. You know, anytime you're proactive and if you have the resources available, as soon as the weather breaks, then uh, it's going to get repaired a lot quicker than it was last year. It's not all about potholes, though. The county has to use the resources it has to resurface long stretches of roads, which is why some potholes may linger longer than you'd like. We do an assessment of every mile of road in the county every year uh, to determine uh, which roads are going to be the higher priority. So that's a combination of uh, traffic counts and road condition. Last year, the Elkhart County Highway Department went through a restructuring. You may remember several people lost their jobs, and Yoder says that also delayed the previous bid process. This year, he expects everything to be set for paving by May 1st. At the Live Desk, James Fillmore, WSBT 22 News. James